This video has been sponsored by Dragon Ball Fever. More about it later down in the video. In the last part, Goku and the rest of the gang go through Granola Saga similarly until Black Frieza arrives. Knowing Vegeta is around, Frieza gets rid of all the threats he can, knowing his power is massive. He goes to Earth, challenges the ones remaining there, and destroys Earth, which forces Goku, Nappa, Granola, Beerus, and Whis to use an alternative way to get out and start enacting revenge. In this part, we go into Goku's, Nappa's, and Broly's training. So let's continue. They decide to first contact Vegeta, but Whis says that Vegeta can't help even if he was there. Going back to the last time he tried, he can only appear if the situation has gone out of hand and has gone further into the whole cosmos. Knowing Frieza, it is very possible for him to expand his empire to outside. Whis says they gotta wait first in order to come up with a good conclusion, but until then, they train in the time chamber yet again. This time, the one they can actually exit, so they get right to it. Meanwhile, Vegeta has stopped mid-training by the Grand Priest. He tells Vegeta his concern about Frieza again and says that Frieza indeed is doing everything he can to prevail as the unstoppable force in the universe. Vegeta thinks the same, knowing Frieza's nature and decides to watch on from afar. Vegeta gets permission from his father to go ahead and spectate, but not to engage just yet. Vegeta agrees to the terms and goes for it. First thing Vegeta does is sends Goku and Nappa. He senses them on cereal and slides by to check in on them. Vegeta sees that they're in the time chamber, but doesn't know the legality of him going in there to greet them. He bites the bullet and goes for it. Entering the time chamber there, he greets Whis and Beerus, before turning his attention to the Saiyans and Granola. Goku asks if he's there to take Frieza down, and Vegeta replies that he can only wish. Relieved, Goku says that he wouldn't pass up a challenge such as like that, that he's been through the same thing once already, might as well repeat it. Goku is excited because his Ultra Instinct is one step closer to a new level and Nappa is one step closer to a new stage of Ultra Ego. Vegeta senses that he might not be needed after all, but with Frieza's potential, he is not sure. When asking for how long they've been in there, Goku says it's currently their third year in here. They came back out for a few hours here and there, but came right back in and continued. Vegeta sees that he really won't be needed, so he just hangs out with them and trains them to hone their skill better. Once they exit the time chamber about another 9 months later, they are ready to square up against Frieza and end his tyranny once and for all. Broly on the other hand has been training too for those 3 years inside of the time chamber. He's much more patient, stoic and collected. When Lemo and chi -Li see him like that, they mention to him that he's a changed person with chi -Li apparently joking that her sweet Broly is now gone. Broly looks at her with a stern gaze, but switches to a nice smile she knows and he replies like a normal person for the first time. That confuses both chi -Li and Lemo, seeing Broly actually civilized and normal having spent time with the Saiyans. They already spent time with him, but this time it really did pay off since Broly was looking on to the interactions of Goku and the gang when they were speaking to each other. So Broly is now pretty normal. He also has a massive power level and Goku has a plan for him and Broly. So their next objective is to find Frieza and defeat him once and for all. With Beerus or Nappa finishing the job and destroying the tyrant to prevent anything else from happening like escapes and revivals ever again. While we stop here, this video has been sponsored by Dragon Ball Fever. It's a Dragon Ball fan comic done by an upcoming artist, Norlight. It's about a girl that has been saved from the experiments of Red Ribbon Army by an unexpected individual, Goku Black, who now grows a bond with the girl. Check it out using my affiliate links down below and support the work. Now let's continue with the what if. Frieza is currently on Namek and is conquering it for their Dragon Balls, thinking that it would be nice if he just wished himself strength or to nerf the Saiyans. And so with him there, Goku and the gang arrive. Goku, Nappa and Broly are all there and getting ready for battle. Goku uses his perfected Ultra Instinct thanks to Whis's and Vegeta's training. Nappa goes into Ultra Ego thanks to Beerus and Broly goes into his legendary Super Saiyan thanks to the efforts of Goku and Nappa teaching him proper control. Goku decides to go first against Nappa's wishes and Broly is just standing there just in case. Vegeta, Beerus and Whis are watching on to see the fight hoping that Goku will be more than enough to defeat Frieza. 
However, as much as Goku manages to pack Frieza into the dirt, Frieza isn't concerned as just laughing maniacally. He powers up a little bit, making Goku's power a mere shadow and kicking him hard in a gut. Frieza tells the gang that the efforts are all in vain and that they cannot win. Beerus then steps in battle, willing to die for his universe. Frieza tells Beerus that his time as a destroyer is over, that he will take over as the next destroyer of Universe 7 and rule the cosmos while at it. Beerus knows he cannot do much but still tries what he can, with Nappa in his ultra ego aiding Beerus in battle. Those two also fail miserably and in the ground, with Nappa dying. Vegeta looks around, then looks at Whis and sees that Whis is getting concerned. Vegeta then steps in, taking his gi off and fights how he used to years back. Frieza is making fun of Vegeta at first, then realizes exactly who it is and gets slightly concerned. Vegeta tells Frieza that now that he figured it out, he will pull no punches whatsoever. Frieza gets cocky and starts taunting Vegeta before rushing him. Vegeta starts dodging at first just to see the power of Frieza and sees that he indeed has the upper hand. Vegeta keeps on dodging the attacks with Frieza getting madder and madder. Frieza then goes to power up all the way knowing that he eventually will lose the power soon despite training it. Vegeta sees that Frieza indeed is really powerful and is at the third of Whis's power. It is of no concern to Vegeta so Vegeta keeps weaving the attacks like they're nothing knowing that no one can get to his level anytime soon nor have potential for that at the current time. Vegeta guts Frieza and punches the black form out of him, with him going back to base. However, he still can use the golden form so Frieza uses it without second thought and tries continuing the fight, but Vegeta easily evades and tells Goku it's his time to retaliate and end Frieza once and for all. Goku powers back up the perfected Ultra Instinct and goes to finish Frieza off. Frieza is now on his last stand and cannot continue the battle anymore. With that done, Beerus tells Nappa to destroy Frieza at once. Nappa is glad to do so, but gives a speech to him first. He speaks on the behalf of the entire Saiyan race. Once it's done and Frieza heard what Nappa had to say, Nappa goes ahead and powers up a Hakai Blast, shooting at Frieza. Frieza tries resisting but his base power is nothing compared to the strength of Ultra Ego and so Frieza gets destroyed. Vegeta smirks that he finally got the opportunity to do something but didn't know if he can continue so he led it to the Saiyans to finish him off. In either case, Goku and Nappa dap each other up and go to Vegeta to thank him. Vegeta says no worries but he's worried about what Grand Priest will say. And so he excuses himself and tells them he'll catch up later and dips out of there. Over at Zeno's world, Vegeta meets up with his father and tells him of the events that unfolded. That Shinkan says he's seen it all and that he's quite proud that he handled the situation well and then now he knows that he's more than cut enough for a job of a vigilante. Vegeta takes those words in very well, thanks his father for the opportunity and goes back to training. Now that Frieza is gone, Beerus and Whis decide to fix as much damage as they possibly could, while Goku and Nappa go back to training because they saw that someone even more powerful can arise, getting motivated to train even harder. But first, they gather the Namekian Dragon Balls and summon Purunga to wish back the Earth and all its inhabitants first. The wish is made and Earth is back, along with the Earthlings and the Z Fighters that were killed off by Frieza's final attack. However, not all is nice and neat, because on a random planet in Universe 7, Cooler witnesses his brother falling and getting killed off after training for those 10 years within the time chamber. Getting angry, he decides to take on the job and train for much longer than those 10 years so that he can actually surpass the Saiyans, including Vegeta so that his brother's legacy is continued in a way. And so with that, the training to surpass his brother and everyone in the cosmos now begins. We're continuing the series next time. While you wait for the next part, join the T23 Discord server with the vanity URL down in the description. Thanks for watching and with that, peace out.